Hi everyone. So today in this video, we'll see how to trigger the Jenkins build remotely. So, so far we have created so many projects like a freestyle project, Maven project and pipeline project. And we were executing uh, these all builds going through the particular project post space and we are clicking on the build now button and the project will build, right? So, we, I mean, uh, it is very hard to all the time going to the uh, build option and manually clicking on the button. Additionally, then we have seen so many build trigger options like uh, uh, in our previous video, we have seen this uh, build periodically, uh, poll SEM, GitHub trigger for a Git SEM polling, right? So this for, I mean, uh, different, different purpose. So when you give this build periodically, so you can define some time. So particular interval am amount of time, the build will automatically trigger. And this one is poll SEM, whenever there is a changes happening in the GitHub repository, it will detect the changes and it will run. So additionally, today we'll see, uh, we will see, we have to trigger our build from the remote remote location as well, right? So remotely. So for this one, you have to create one by one. I mean, any project you can create in the Jenkins. So for, for this demo purpose, I'm taking some freestyle project here. So in the build trigger option, you have to select this option, which is called trigger build remotely, right? So when I click on this option, okay, there will be some authentication token with us. So you can go to this description and you can read Enable this option if you want to if 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 you would like to trigger new build by accessing the specific predefined URL, right? So this will generate some URL. So this is a URL that you have to pass it in. A, I mean, you want to run under any browser or if you want to run under terminal, you can pass this URL to trigger this build remotely. Okay. So for this one, they need authentication token. So I mean, not everybody can come and uh, run this URL, right? So there will be some a set of group of people they have to access and they they should have access to run this build right so for those reasons we can define some authentication token like like a, you can you can define anything like a abc or one two three or something like this so if you want to define as a complicated one also you can define it. so for demo purpose i will go with this one two three hyphen abc okay so after this what we have to do we have to use this following url to trigger the build remotely okay i will copy this url and i will put it on this uh, one note Okay, so this is a URL. Okay, so what is the URL? Jenkins underscore URL. So here, what is this Jenkins underscore URL means? Like whatever the port that you are running your Jenkins. So in our case, um, I'm running the my local host 8082. I will copy this one and I will come here. I will replace this one. Okay, so after that, what we have, we have a job. So which is our Jenkins job. And this is a project name, three style project. That is a my project name. Okay, so after that, what we have, we have a build. I mean, we are asking to build one. I mean, build the project, build, and the token, right? So I will I will come back to this uh, build the path parameter later. So token, this token is coming from here. Okay, so we have to give this particular token value in the URL to trigger the build. We have to tell it this token name, and we have to pass our key value. So what is the value here? We have given as an authentication token, one, two, three, hyphen, ABC. That is the one we have to pass it here. Okay. So we have, I mean, uh, this is the one way. And another way, like you can use this build with parameter token on set. So that one we'll see in our next video. So how to, I mean, uh, create uh, some uh, project with the parameterized option to execute our build. Okay. So for this case, we'll go with the only token. So what now? We have built the URL now. So you can simply copy this URL. So you before that, you, you just make sure you are saving the project. Okay, I have saved the project now. So we'll check my last build was number five and it was December 4th. Okay, so now we have copied this URL from here. So you can open some uh, tab in the browser, just paste this URL, put on enter. Okay, so once you click on the enter, you won't see anything here. So come back to the workspace. So now you can see build number six will generate. Yeah, so build six is triggered now. So once this is triggered, we can go to the console option and we can see, uh, I mean, I mean, how does the bigger trigger, I mean, build it trigger, right? So here you can see it is started by the remote host, right? Some, I mean, by default, they are showing some IP address or something like that. So it is started by the remote host. So when you, when you, I mean, how do you confirm this one? We can go back to the project and you can check the previous project. Okay, this is my previous build, right? So if you check this one, this is started by the user. I mean, my username is admin, right? So this is how we can differentiate this one. So now we can see, I mean, this is running. My, I mean, build is running and we can see everything in the console, right? So, I mean, it is running, project is, I mean, the test is started. 
So here you can see it is started by the host, remote host, right? So we have started our build remotely. Okay, so this is a one way of uh, triggering the build from uh, any browser window. You can open tab and even paste this one. So there is a one more way where you can uh, trigger the same build through the terminal option. Okay, so simply you can open some terminal. Okay, I mean terminal is nothing else, a command prompt. Okay, so we'll wait for this build. Uh, build is okay. So the build is done. Here you can see it is success, right? So we'll come to the terminal. Again, we'll copy the same URL because the URL is a predefined URL that we have to pass to trigger our build remotely. So here, come here, type curl hyphen I, paste that URL and put on enter. So now you can see 201, which is created. So come back here. So our last build was six. Now you can see build seven is getting created, right? So here you can see the HTTP 201 created, which is our build is created, okay? And here you can see this is a Q item 49. They are they are referencing. I mean, uh, they are referencing my local IP, my location. Okay. So if you see any issue with this uh, triggering through the terminal, so sometimes it will ask you for the username password. So they want to confirm like uh, which user is getting triggered. So in my case, it's a local host. It's already defined. So I'm not getting any error. If at all, if you are getting any error, right? So you have to pass your username and password as well. Okay, so how do we pass this username password? Once again, so here this is a URL, base URL, right? So if if if, if this one is not working on your, I mean, terminal or common prompt, right? So what we have to do, we have to pass our credential to the to this, I mean, uh, to terminal to execute our build. Okay, so what I have done here is, so this is my username, admin is my username, and this is a password following at the rate of local test, I mean, local host. 8082 and, and the respective things. Okay, so from here, so instead of uh, directly passing as a STPP local host, I have to append my username password details here. Okay, so I can copy this URL and again I can go back to my terminal. So before that, we'll make sure the build number seven is done or not. Yeah, so the build seven is done. Okay, right? so we'll go back to the terminal. Again, we have to type curl hyphen i and paste the complete URL with the username password. Okay, so you can you can see the comparison. I mean, uh, so the previous URL I just passed the uh, without username credentials. So here I'm passing my username and password. Admin is my username and this is my password. Okay, so when I put on enter, here again you can see 201 is created. Again the build number eight is started. Right. So when you open this build, okay, you can see. I mean, again if this is triggered by remote P or not. So we'll go to the uh, open the build number. So here you can see it is started by the remote host, right? So this is how we trigger the, uh, I mean, uh, Jenkins build to the remote option, okay? So trigger the builds remotely by using this build trigger option, you have to configure this one, okay? So you have to generate the token, you have to create one project in Jenkins, under the configuration, you have to check this build trigger remote option, you have to generate some token value, and you have to copy that particular URL. You have to pass this URL to, I mean, go into some browser and open some tab and you can put on enter. Otherwise, you can run the same thing from the terminal. Okay, so if you face any user credentials issue, then you have to additionally pass your username and password to the URL to run your build from the remote option. Okay, so this build with parameter, I will cover in my next video. Okay, so we can add, we can add some parameter in the same project and we can use the parameter for, to trigger our build remotely. Okay, so now we can see in the uh, Jenkins, okay, build number eight also gets succeed. Okay, so all these three, I mean, the three builds we have triggered from remote option, right? So here, I mean, build number seven also it's triggered from the remote option, right? The sixth one, I mean, build number six one, we have triggered by going to this particular URL and going to the browser. And when you copy paste this URL, put on enter, it has triggered. And the build number seven, we have executed from the terminal without passing any user credential. And build number eight, we have passed, I mean, we have uh, triggered from the terminal again. We have passed the user admin, I mean, user credential, username and admin, and followed by this at the rate local host and the same URL, whatever we have, I mean, given in the first time, right? So this is how we trigger the build remotely to, to execute, I mean, to trigger the build in the Jenkins by using the option called triggers build remotely option. Okay, so make sure you are saving the project after uh, checking this checkbox and putting the token and everything.
If you don't save, it will not run. So please always make sure you save the Jenkins project and go for a run. Okay. So that's all about uh, triggering this uh, build remotely in Jenkins for your particular build. Okay. If you guys have, have any uh, doubt or clarification, please feel free to ask in the comment I mean, section. Okay. So thank you guys.